Okay. So it's time for chapter two proper. Oh, joy. The main first part is dealing with this situation. Yeah, saving Nordian. Getting fucked up. And the knights. If all three of these knights survive to the end of the chapter, you get a special ring. Nice. Problem is that them surviving the initial wave is literal RNG. Even if your fastest units charge as much as possible and go their full movement, it's not guaranteed. But, no reason to at least try, Sigurd. Yeah. Also, while I'm here, I may as well show off how everyone's advanced. It's always been two. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that could change or not. Technically, but it's more of a bug of a certain character. <laughs> I mean... The implication there was is that it was if it could intentionally change. Because, I mean... I'm sure you could... Oh, God. What if somebody figured out a way to do Ace in this game? Ace to E. Arbitrary code execution. <laughs> so that they can make do the strongest character in Fire Rifle. <laughs> I mean, if you knew exactly how to RNG abuse, you could make them have perfect growths. Right, but go even further beyond. Like, just make do the strong, like, five star authority and best weapons in the game in, like, chapter three. Like, how <laughs> do solo everyone? You can move 99 squares. You know, usual stuff. As it should be. That sounds like, like the playground rumor. Like, I heard that if you take Dew all the way to the final chapter and you have him defeat every enemy, he turns into Dew too. <laughs> My uncle works at Nintendo. Does he now? Yes, N Nintendo uh, laundromat. Congratulations, yeah. Arden. You're on guard duty again. <laughs> do you think he Arden is like Sisyphus? Like, do you think that Arden's like in purgatory, a purgatory of his own mind, and when he goes to bed at night, he's still guarding the damn castle? He's stuck in like an eternal haze of boredom. Someone did a um, infantry units only run, and Arden was still on guard duty. Also, how are you faring? So God, I can't remember voices. Fucking my Achilles heel for any of these videos is I can't remember fucking voices. I uh, literally everyone in there, uh, literally every male in this entire army has the exact same voice, and it's all just merging and changing at the same time. Well, I or, mean, yeah, but they're all anime like sword boys from the '90s, so I don't know what you expect. What I'm saying is, we're all we're making the Legion. Cool. How are you faring so far, Daedra? I know my brother is worried something fierce about you risking your life like this. Ethan, thank you for asking, but I'm doing just fine for now. Everything will be alright. I can feel it. So long as I'm at Sigurd's side, our happiness will see us through. Huh, I wonder if something tragic and horrible will happen. It's not like this is blatant, like, everything's gonna go to shit somehow. I don't think I've ever seen Sigurd as happy as he's been since he met you. He's practically a changed man. Ethlin, here, I'd like you to have this. I've been meaning to give it to you for a while. Oh, is this, is, is this a light brand? Wow, these are so rare and hard to come by. Are you sure you want to give me this? Of course, I know that it will serve you well. Can't thank you enough, DJ. Always cherish it, treasure it. Treasure planet. <laughs> Yay. So the light brand 
is a Cat's sword life. that has range. Interesting. So it, it, you use it like a staff, I assume? You use it like or... a regular sword, but it can be used at, at range, like a, like a spell. Interesting. Can anybody use it, or only mages? Uh, if you have sea swords. And these nobodies. I'm trying with Dew, but he's just refusing. Bring out Dew! I dare you! I fucking dare you! Bring him out! Let's go! Let's go, Dew! Just Actually, stick him no. in the wood. Oh. There's a very specific reason I don't want to, because... Remember how I said that units that aren't standing next to each other can still gain love points? Oh god, can we you, we like... We may or may not be having the horniest member of the party join this chapter. Oh no. And it's an active fucking task to keep her from getting some people you don't want her to. Oh Because no. she is arguably one of the worst people to have get married. Oh, no. Like only one person can really actually not get fucked over by her. <clears throat> but let's see how things go. Lady Rackrace is Nordian. Hmm. I've been looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> if I had the soundboard open, I'd do it. <laughs> She's been playing cruel games with my heart for years. But look how the tables have turned. I have an entire army behind me against her insignificant guard. What could she possibly do? She's powerless to resist coming back to hiring with me. And who knows? Perhaps one day she'll admit she wants it. Why is every villain in this game a fucking rapist? I don't like it. I to make them evil. You know, being a rapist is a horrible and villainous thing, but like a little bit of originality, guys, this is uncomfortable. There is some theming reasons. Our task is to form a defensive line, and don't let the enemy lure you from your post. Stand your ground. Understood? So the armor knight's just gonna stand there. Yeah. I get pretty. So hi, hi, just finally made the move. Perfect. Relish to brigands in the villages, as we arranged. Under the old king, you couldn't even dare to meddle in any of his property. It is the easiest thing to cheat, Chagall. Strip everything of warfare to find and bring it back here. Leave no stone unturned. So is this another nation, or...? Nope. Or uh, another noble house. Again? Yeah, that's what I figured. So they're just pillaging, uh, the old king's lands. Hmm. Han is going for Nordian's throat. Hmm. Hmm. He even looks like a Minecraft villager. Hmm. Hmm. Do I side with here? Let's wait and see how this unfolds. Let's try to maintain the of where they are until the dust settles. What happens if you try and talk to that guy? That's what I'm curious about. That's actually a secret event in this chapter. Oh, sick. If you have someone to wait next to them. And actually, no, I'm thinking about it. Arden oh has a use God. today. Arden's gonna do something. <laughs> so, uh. There's something very stupid involving Arden in this chapter. Where is it? If Arden stands exactly here, or is it here? Around here? He gets one of the best items in the game. Excuse me, what the fuck? Only if he doesn't have a wife. E excuse me, what the fuck times two? What is up with this game and the most obscure, like, bullshit secrets? That there you is ain't no seen reason. anything yet. I feel like, I feel like this was developers in Japan just pushing really hard to, like, sell the strategy guides for free or something. Oh yeah, no, go ask the Nintendo helpline today. But this isn't like the Nintendo helpline where it's like, hey, you know, I'm stuck in this game. This is like, the Nintendo helpline is in... 
Hey, tell me some bullshit secret that I have no chance of finding. Like, what the fuck? So even though Deirdre really wants to come with, she's not good in any way, shape, or form, so she's staying back where she belongs. Girl, you... You useless. She is. She's not useful. So yes, it's Arden's time to shine. Oh my god, he's walking! <laughs> Fucking ground's shaking and trembling of each step. Oh shit, here they come. Oh, here. here we go. It begins. Fuck him up! I need to watch every single single horseman perform a uh, mm -hmm. epic. So that enormous group of villages yeah. is getting is going to get completely raised. Oh yeah. See, I'm going to go ahead and make another save. Just to be safe. Uh, let's save for this. So yeah, this entire group is going to get destroyed, and I believe this has another one of the best rings in the game. Oh, so we should probably get somebody over there. Well... But the problem is, how are you going to get there? You have to go through the whole army. Not to mention, this Come is blocked. On, uh... Ooh. There's no way to get past us until we take this castle. Yikes. And well... There's a way we can deal with this. But we need to move it if we're going to actually have it activate. So when we're moving units, I guess this is as good of a time as any. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's good of a time to, to mention that I fought God in my dreams the other night. And I won. I'm no proud question. of you for, for I'm proud of you for going chaos right out. Well, the hilarious <laughs> thing is, is that God was clearly based off of like YHVH from SMT. Yes, you I went chaos right out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I fought him. He got angry at me because he was a bitch, and uh, so like for religious people out here, this is clearly clearly he was not meant to be like the Christian. Like he was an asshole. Uh, like, to an extreme degree. Uh, basically it was just S and T Y H And, um, I managed to beat him, because he threw a fucking fishnet on me in a gymnasium. I beat him by pointing out that I could, basically I, I, uh, fucking intimidated him by saying that I could wake up at any time and he would cease to exist. So my life, his life was in my hands, and he fucking freaked out and failed. <laughs> He was so fucking terrified. I fucking rolled a natural 20 intimidation on his ass. I literally told him, I'm the fucking god here, you dumbass. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you beat god. Just tell him if, uh, tell him you, you make him cease to exist at any moment. Would one of these nerds please dodge? No. We're gonna need get at least a miss, survive this. Oh wow, yeah, they're using Kanto and everything, they're just mm -hmm. fucking... Fire this is off. why I said this is just pure luck. Everyone, get in here! Oh wait, no, they were too stupid. That one didn't have enough move, I think. Oh. Fair enough. Oh my god, it's just a pile of them. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know what the best part is? These yeah. ally knights. Yeah. They're suicidal idiots. Great. They will attack if it means getting countered, means they'll die. They don't care.
On the bright side, the cavalry's almost arrived. She is left. I can't believe they put Tracer from Overwatch in this game for the 90s. It's incredible. I can't believe it either. It's almost as if I'm saying random bullshit. Almost. Almost. Ooh. Nice. See, Madeir can be useful. <laughs> He's trying his best, okay. No bully. Someday um, he'll gain I... that strength. Yeah. All right, that's one idiot blocked. Idiot. Who needs accurate? Who needs damage and accuracy when you can just hit four times? Lex also has damage and accuracy. Yeah. God, Lex just fucking. He's doing what he needs to. Yeah. As you can see, this one dying is the hard part. Yeah. Well, clearly, yeah. There's no way you're gonna get a healer in there. And that, if we were able to get a healer that far, be the dead. Would get fucking fucked yeah. Up, yeah. Do 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 do. Like the saving grace for this chapter is the song's great. So even though this chapter isn't that great. Oh yeah, I was gonna say the music's a bop. It kind of reminds. I'm trying to remember what it reminds me of, because it does seem vaguely familiar. It's not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. There was some game that I remember playing. It might be worth it just to send a unit in there as just bait to try and keep them from attacking. They'll, They'll prioritize. Probably... Yeah. Like, why do you think I'm not that concerned about people being left out? One killed. Hey, you did something. The plan is very simple, but also very stupid. If one of these gets, if one of these ends up being really stupid, we may be able to have them just block off. Right. We also could try and uh, recruit. Lacrosis. But, well, as you can see... She's not great. Yeah, she would die and they would follow her. You know, whenever she runs. But I don't know if we'd be able to even get her out in time. So I think having Sigurd just kill one of these idiots was yeah. better use of her time. Standing there with his axe still extended, like, oh god, I didn't plan for this far. I didn't plan for what to do if I missed. Oh god, oh shit. I didn't know I could miss. What? You can miss? They never told me that in the academy. Oh shit. Like I said, suicidal idiot. Oh. Now it's on. So you see what my plan was. If they, if the other one just go first, or if one just it ends up being stupid, and, oh, here we go. Oh, no. Please, Yves, make a single dodge. You just need to do a, oh, okay, he just needs to Weapon do Weapon triangle. Once. Yeah. 
And oh, here we God. go. Yep. Yeah. Time to reset. Yeah, it is. It's pure luck. That's There's awesome. no real strategy. Just hoping the vest lands their dodge. Go with the auto save. I think we could salvage it from, salvage it from here. Yeah, thanks, my dear. I vaguely wonder that if we have Quan kill this one and then have Sigurd move up and throw the javelin at uh, the boss, we might be able to change things. But that requires Quan killing. Speed up function is my best friend. Okay. It's just w even worse. Yeah. Let's go with this one instead. And just hope that Yves does better on the initial rush. Which means even more unit positioning. Like, this entire scenario almost feels like it was designed with, like, normal warp in mind, you know what I'm saying? Because even if you rush at full speed, you can't make this consistent. And like the ring... It's not the best ring in the game, but I wouldn't say it's worthless. Nope. We got one. That's one dodge that compared to previous. Yeah, that's way better. Well, it's better, I suppose. Gotta go fast.
really. I, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. At least that's one less hit you're taking when you're being stupid. Yeah. So yeah, they're all wielding javelins. That's why they're doing so horrible. Yes! Oh, another miss. That's way more than usual. Good here. <gasps> the... Did you see that? He didn't move. Yeah, yeah I know they can't. That think. means the commander can't. Oh, the commander's going for this one instead. That's surprising, but far less of a pain. Alright, no, we've got this. On the continent, the rulers are just putting their hands up in the air and just going, "Fuck it, we'll go ravage the countryside." <laughs> they just send out bandits to destroy their own cities. It works. I mean, fine, it works. <laughs> there's no they get money. Who needs peasants? They don't have rights. I mean, yeah, they don't have... You need the working class to exploit to keep your, your feudal society working. They're, They're not thinking far ahead. Dead. Thinking ahead is for losers. You know this, Lynn. Come on, Finn. Yeah. I mean, that's already three more resin than most units have in this game. Lex doesn't need the boss kill. Honestly, Sigurd's been, I think, feel like he's been falling behind a little bit, so let's give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Mail! <laughs> Don't interfere with this! You want me to light the floor if you do? For some reason, for like, oh my god, he's all that damage. <sighs> Last. Why must everything go elder guns? And now and Sigurd has a silver lance. Meaning now he's literally the god of the weapon triangle. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're safe, our places. <laughs> what about Eldgen? Is he still being held? Yes, he's still in Augusti. It's as if all the lords of Augusti have turned on us. It's almost as if they're all gone fucking nuts because they're all assholes. Rapist assholes. Please, sit, Sir Sigurd. Lend us your might. No matter what it takes, my brother must be saved. Of course. I have no fondness for bringing war to foreign lands, but in this case, we've little choice. His Majesty, King Asmer, was aware of King Limka's assassination, and of Chagall's hand in it. He's received a word of Chagall's ambitions to invade Granville itself, and has already approved military action. His Majesty also believed Eldigan's rescue to be vital for putting an end to the hostilities. Rest assured, Requesis, I swear that I'll save Eldigan. So yeah, she's officially joined us. Yay. She's Beautiful a sword. She is princess class. Uh also, is that a javelin or a... what is that? Because it, it it says miracle sword, but it It's a sword. Oh. oh okay. I thought for some reason my brain looked at it and you see the uh you see It the, like, looks like the... a halberd. Yeah, I was thinking, like, that looks like a halberd because of the background, the fucking background color. <laughs> that threw me off. But yes, her main gimmick is she's fucking garbage until she promotes. Nice. 
So she's princess class. Yes. She had. Yeah. She, she is able to heal. That's pretty much her main claim to fame. Early game. Yeah, it's safe. So yes, now, now we need to take care of this horde. And it's time to meet Ballisticians. They use Ballista. Oh joy, we've got literal fucking artillery to deal with. Mm-hmm. Ballista have 15 might. I hate And it. have 3 to 10 range. And, as if it wasn't enough, uh, it counts as a bow so that flyers get destroyed. Yeah. I mean, it literally says in the description, cripples flyers. Mm-hmm. Not that... Not strong against just fucking cripples. Listen. And he has three stars of authority, meaning they have a 30% chance increase to hit. Jesus. I mean, you. This is a tough nut to crack. But as per usual, the solution is to lure the idiots out. <laughs> he literally told them to hold a defensive line. And they're not gonna listen. So depending on how this uh, chapter goes, this may be the chapter where I use the good old-fashioned infinite heal trick. Basically, uh, healers get HP from healing, right? Mm -hmm. So what if we were to just... Send somebody in and have them hit by the ballistas and then back out heal them repeat. No, no, no. no. Oh. Have them go into the arena. <clears throat> hmm. However, it depends on well how things go. If we somehow, if somehow by literal miracle we manage to get through most of this chapter without, uh, hitting the look, turn fifty, then fuck it. I'll actually, you know, finish it. But if, but if the expected thing occurs and you know, it's way past then. Probably. But, uh... We'll do that, just for the sake of... She's level 2. She's level fucking 2, and she's completely useless until she gets... What's the minimum? Level 10 or level 20? 20. 'll it's even worse what? remember how I said the knights were suicidal oh god we still don't have control over them do we they follow her no. meaning she has to stay out of the fray so this entire chapter she pretty much can't get any exp from even being on heal duty this is why I'm 1000 percent okay with if we hit the turn counter we're gonna grind her up because she's she's fucked. Sigurd, so go there. You need the big heal the most. Then it gives us a chance to make ID and Eflin, you know. Kiss. Kiss, goddammit! <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> the main thing you're going to have to worry about is making sure that Ira and Lex don't get together. And another unfortunate thing that may occur. Oh, you yeah. may notice that there, well, we have a village that is already claimed. Like we visited it. Right. Something may occur. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. Do what, Harley? <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> do you really want this stain on your conscience, though? And on the internet? Yeah, yeah. Not to imply that your uwu voice is a stain, but I mean... No, it is. I'm really sure. <laughs> Why do I sound like an angry bat, like chimpanzee when I laugh? More like a dying chimpanzee. <laughs> I mean, you're not Pale wrong. Wish. Please die. <laughs> I want to die. Life is plain. I hate. Yes. Every night I feel my butt being scanned by the toilet. No. You know, it just occurred to me. So you know how people are, you know, privacy is literally dying and all that? Yeah. Like, people are, you know, like, what the fuck was it? Sounding the alarm. Edward Snowden. Yeah. Like, what was no, the fucking right. system they're making, like, China, like the social credit system, all that shit? You realize that this, we're going to reach a point where your ass is literally how you're detected, if that keeps going. This could lead to, like, some really bizarre... Dystopia fiction? Dystopia fiction slash anal erotica, I feel like. What's the difference? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, let's kill him. No, I'm not gonna say that. Am I gonna say this? Are you going to demonetize Harley? Oh, uh, you imply we were ever monetized. I... <laughs> Very cool, Lynn. You're welcome. 
I wonder how bad is how bad does Lex get destroyed by this guy? That's a good question. Pretty bad. Hmm. 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 Let's just. A bow user killed an armor knight. That just feels wrong. Oh, Lenny, you no, know just occurred to me. What? I bought Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Oh God. I've had it for a while. I just bought it on sale. So you know, in the fact that you've now gotten the fire meal, you know that means. Ew. Ew. There's no oh. escape. No. Oh right, it's like a full fledged RPG. It's Persona. Oh my god. The Fire Emblem and SMT crossover is just a Persona game. Also, as per usual, when dealing with armor knights, just make a formation and they'll just dogpile. want to decide where the formation is and you know make sure it's out of range of that and and of this because he could actually be a threat let's go yes that's safe let's go here here One, two, three, four. One, two, All right, three. Everybody in the car, come no. on, let's ride to the like, stone. You have the same, right? Right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Kill him, Lex. <laughs> Get him, Lex. Put Finn there, cause it's fucking Finn. Hmm. Hmm. Put Sigurd up here. Like that space exactly should be the sweet spot. We put Sigurd here. Right there, right? Yes. You put Sigurd here. He can't get hit by the lower full siege, and he'll be able to just solo the entire top siege. Yeah. Come on, Lex, you'll be useful for once in your life. Just kidding, Lex isn't useful. <laughs> yeah, no, we should be safe. A sortie versus an armor knight, and the sortie's winning. <laughs> Two damage. <laughs> and Sigurd nearly one shots him. Not only does Sigurd have balls of steel, but when he gets hit in the balls, it just plinks right off. So it's like Conker's Bad Fur Day with the boiler of literal brass balls. That's its weak point. I still have not played Conker's Bad Fur Day, and I have not seen much outside of the big mighty and the titty flowers. The great mighty poo. I'm I'll sing the whole goddamn song. With you watching, so just react to me losing my shit. So I've never actually finished the game, even though I played it a bunch as a kid, because it's actually quite hard. 
The furthest I got was the prehistoric area. I got to the strip club. But I couldn't... I figured out what to do, but I couldn't do it. You know? Yeah. And I understand, I must sound like fucking an absolute insane person. Anyone hasn't played that game. Or figured out where I, what the fuck I'm talking about. And gotten that far. Azul, you're gonna be useful. You did it, asshole. You contributed. Now get a level of nothing. Level 12 and he still has 10 mag. My god, asshole, you're really making it hard to care. Like, Arden's doing better than you are. <laughs> I feel like when Azul has fucking magic and then there's just fucking... <laughs> Imagine losing to Arden. Damn, is he strong. Maybe if we soften him up with this. Yeah. Prince Jam, do it. Well, he has a grand veil. So long as I draw breath, you shall never reach her high. What's that? You're gonna fucking die? Let's have Madeir go for more on this. Then we can send Holen in. I don't trust Holen to be useful yet. Imagine being useful in Fire Emblem. You know if I was in Fire Emblem, I would just be... I would just be the female equivalent of you. <laughs> Motherfucker missed magic, an armor knight. If you had it in half the time, I'd just actually damage people. Ira, kill. I'd be too fucking gay to be functional, so... Thank you, Ira. Oh, Lord Bernux, I beg your pardon. It's, it's Bordeaux. It's okay. French is cursed. I'm so. saying Bar I'm saying Lord Bardux, just to spite the friends. French. Oh, fair enough. The friends. You know what? Ira needs more skill and more speed because she is enough of a goddamn just fucking sword lesbian god. <laughs> so let's see how good Lightbrand is. Pretty yeah, good. Just cast fucking... What is that, like a Chrono Trigger spell? <laughs> yeah, no, but I just cast... There may or may not be a spell you literally cast the intro cutscene on them. Like, seriously, the entire graphic is the intro cutscene. Well, that's not good. Both Holen and Ira have been very bad at their job of not taking hits. Lex, do a miracle. Well, 
well he tried. Maybe he'll spook them. Jesus, Quan. him being alive. I have a feeling we're going to have a death here. This went very top to die. Yeah, this, this went is... very sideways the moment that yeah, miss happened. Like, what happened to having a formation? That miss ruined everything. Oof. That is scary. I was expecting Holden to kill the boss, but he missed, and then I had to send Ira out, and just the whole thing fell apart. Yeah. You got fucked by RNG. Like, I know that the rule is never bank on the 70, but it was a 70. It shouldn't have missed. Come on, Holden. That's how I felt in 2016, looking at 5.30 forecasts. You're fucking joking. I got hit by a 40. I really am adult, aren't I? Alright, let's have things go better this time. <laughs> Holm, please do not fuck up that badly again. Yeah, just, just don't. I, I had hoped Holm would not make that bad of a blunder. He missed the Armor Knight! Did Azul get a Wars level up this time? Maybe Prince Jam will get lucky. He never crits when I want him to. Now there's a dumb idea. I like Let's it. Do it. I can go. Okay, Holm. Does he do exactly one damage off? Alright, you smug son of a bitch. See, I like it this time. Just a warning. Um, I would not put it in the video for 
reasons that will become very obvious. It's not directly not safe for work, but you will understand. I'm gonna pause the recording just so I can satisfy his instant curiosity. Well, I just frightened Lynn. I tried to frighten Harlan and he destroyed me. <laughs> I, it was an S, it was a real SMT, you know. I, it turns out I had reflect physical. And, well, Lynn focused up and everything, and just was a bad idea. Hold, don't, don't fuck up. Yourself. Harlan is <laughs> Harlan's response to the laser cursed laser gif is is. Cool! <laughs> uh huh. I then went into a very detailed explanation of how, as a kid, I played Mad World. And, and if anyone knows Mad that World game. Was not fucking banned in Australia. What? <laughs> but it was banned in other places, like parts of Europe. What? Uh huh. Let me. Let me. Let me look this up. I gotta find this out. No, not my world. It was not released in Germany. Figures. Uh, despite the fact that uh, it even says this on the Wikipedia page. Despite the fact that Australia is also known for strict video game classification, <laughs> the game was released there unedited, with an MA 15 plus rating, for strong bloody violence and strong coarse language. I... I'm looking forward to when we LP that game. Because I can assure you that's incorrect. That it wasn't unedited? No, that was that was definitely un I I can believe it was unedited, but it sh it it should not have gotten that rating. It was re-released in Australia in the Welcome to Violence box set in North Carolina <laughs> 10, which includes the House of the Dead Overkill and the Conduit. Oh god, remember the Conduit? Oh my no. God. So it was basically the Wii's like exclu it was a Wii exclusive first person <gasps> shooter. Luna! So yeah, the armor that just had all its defense nullified. Nice. Very strong. But yeah, so it was a... F it was basically marketed as a hardcore first-person shooter for the Wii. Which, you know, considering the Wii at the time, especially, like... Oh shit. Oh, he dodged That's what's <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. They only had a 38 chance to hit. Quan, on their hand, can take it. Yeah, so it had online multiplayer. It was basically kind of similar to COD, but it was like a sci-fi setting. Uh, it had voice chat and multiplayer lobbies. <laughs> and it had voice chat via Wii Speak. Remember that thing? God, I that... In like three games. Yeah. That's in the same energy as the fucking uh, DS web browser. Oh, yeah. That thing that actually existed, I, I know you don't believe it, but it's real. No, I know it. In fact, I know some trivia about it. <laughs> I'm saying to the folks at home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you know that the, uh... Did you know that the, uh, DS internet browser actually, despite how incredibly bare bones it was, uh, actually had extra, an extra, uh, it was originally released as a fucking cartridge that you could like buy and the physical cartridge actually had eight megabytes of ram inside of it because the ds the base ds when it, when it was released only had like four megabytes of ram and that was not enough to handle and render even the most basic websites so they stuck external ram on the into the cartridge so that it could render a website that is probably the most sketchy fucking like saw together web browser I think I've ever seen. 
and you've used window and you've used Internet Explorer. Yeah. Oh no, this thing makes that thing made Internet Explorer look like a fucking. Thanks, Midir. Yes, the DSI web browser was just a slightly, it was basically a slightly updated port that was released to software for the DSI, and the reason it was able to uh, uh, work was because the DSI actually came with additional RAM um, to help with like the camera and stuff like that. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. The Nintendo DS browser supports JavaScript and SSL and web pages, but does not support plugins Dale like Crit. Adobe Flash. Nice. Or bold text. <laughs> you can't have bold text. It just doesn't work. I. A logical and intelligent uh, drawback. Due to limited system resources, most other dynamic media, such as videos or sound, will not work in the browser. Ah uh, yes, my favorite dyna dynamic media, sound. So, the DSi, this is interesting, they have a graph here, uh, on the Wikipedia page, but nobody has actually gotten around to testing the DS version. To see if it works. Because no one believed in it. Using the various acid tests. Interesting. Oh right! I forgot the RAM was not in the cartridge. I take that back. You got a separate expansion pack that you had to that you put in the, the GBA's GBA part. part right yeah and it ended up getting used later on for unofficial homebrew software like DS Linux and Moon Shell <laughs> DS Linux huh yeah Sony ported Linux to the DS because it has to be on everything yeah I mean Linux is the doom of operating systems people you can pretty much port it to anything, because the source code's all available, and you can just do whatever the fuck you want with it. Oh my god, this is like a rabbit hole of bullshit. The memory expansion pack, much like the Rumble pack, is a DS option pack accessory for the Nintendo DS and DS Lite. It is inserted into slot 2, and it adds 8 megabytes of RAM to the system, as well as an memory management unit. This thing had its own fucking MMU for a total of 12 megabytes. The accessory is available in two versions, one for the original Nintendo DS and one that exclusively works with the DS Lite. The original version is also compatible with the DS Lite, although the cartridge protrudes from the console. <laughs> Retailers carried both versions in Japan and Europe, but other regions only sold the DS Lite version at retail, while Nintendo made the original version available by mail order. <laughs> Sure, oh, Nintendo. Hi, what is that ability? Oh. You know what it is. Oh, right. The fun oh, one. It's just fucking becoming vulnerable. 40% chance of just not happening. Oh, Nintendo one of the dumbest thing oh, in, in 6, 7, and 8, that skill still exists and works that way. Guess what, how it works? It's based off of the enemies level. So it gets higher chance of happening. So like if you're level twenty and you and you attack one, there's a twenty percent chance of it just not activating. Independent of what level they are. But in this game it's based off of their level. But just every time you think Fire Emblem's greased peak stupid, it gets stupider. Yeah. Tender DS browser is the only licensed software for the console that used this accessory, although the browser's instruction manual suggested that other games and software could use the memory, whether mandatory or optional. 
Thus, the accessory behaves similarly to the Nintendo 64 expansion pack. Third-party versions of the memory expansion pack also exist. What? The Easy V 3-in-1 offers 16 megabytes of RAM, while other manufacturers, Supercard M3 and G6, offer 32 megabytes of RAM. The Nintendo DS browser refuses to boot with these devices. <laughs> so you can buy third-party RAM packs, but they don't work with the only thing ever officially produced that uses it. Cool. Gotta give my DS some more RAM. IGN is the only known publication to have made a review for it. It got a 3.5 out of 10. Well, that's just typical of IGN. Hmm, odd. Why didn't this fire off? What did it mean? These guys. That's also possible. Oh, well, in that case, Arden, get, get back to the other task today. I like how the review talks about how it's impossible to surf YouTube, MySpace, and HomestarRunner.com <sighs> on the handheld. <sighs> Holy shit. The browser is not image-friendly, and it's clear that that's where 90% of the problem lies. To speed up web browsing, Nintendo and Opera recommend disabling images. You know, as you do. Apparently it was only made because of a contractual obligation between Nintendo and Opera. Because Opera made the web browser for the Wii, and so in return, Nintendo sold a web a version of Opera's web browser for the DS. Uh, and it was Garbo. The end. <laughs> Why? Life is pain. I hate myself. Madeira's doing work. Yeah. For once. Madeira do be out here doing reasonable amounts of damage. Hey! Yay! Strength went up for the first time in history. Yay. Yeah, I think that ring's fucked. How are you even supposed to get there? You'll see. Oh no, is there some bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> of course. There may or may not be some bullshit related to when we take this castle. That would have made it possible if we had bum rushed this only using Cav. So, I'll describe what's in here. In here is the bargain ring. A ring that makes you, you know, it gives you the bargain skill. The one that makes you, you know, pay half. Yeah. Very it good to have. Yeah, very useful. Sucks that we didn't get it. Oh well. Now this 100% run is ruined. Oh yes, this 100% run. Mm. 
Grand Vizier already. Blast! Why can't my men have been useful for once? Fine, I'll take this into my own hands. Oh shit. Blast. Blast. <laughs> I like the idea that all these units are just up on the hill taking turns, like, fucking walking in. The guy, this guy on a horse just tries to hit them. Misses, and they just, like, plink off his armor and then run away again. <laughs> and they're just all in a line. Sigurd, do it. Damn it, Sigurd. You failed me for the first time. <clears throat> We might as well get the rest of the team on their way to the next objective while the A team takes care of this. Just keep trying, ID, and I'm sure you'll be useful someday. Oops, I wanted to move her further down. Oh well. Coward. Unfortunate. Although Sigurd can definitely use the barrier ring. Oh! It's not working like that yet. So later on in the game, whenever you take the castle or beat the enemy lead enemy unit. Oh, well, I guess we haven't taken the castle, but if we take that castle, that armor not used there will just despawn. Interesting. If you're in a bad situation, but you're able to take the castle and you, you can afford to just drop the DXP, go for it. I like how the, I like how the, uh, this is one close, spoil the ending of your favorite game without any context, and the first response is, become a door, save the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's trying. He's trying. Well, let's play into happy music while this is still occurring. Yeah. <laughs> the whole in case country it, is burning down. In case it wasn't obvious, it's not over yet. Yeah. They're trying to, like, bait you, but... <laughs> it's a little hard. Uh, I want to make sure everyone's in the right position for this, because I don't remember how actually, exactly how it works. It has been a little too long. Sick or take the castle. Your Highness secure, sire. What are you thinking for our next move? Do we pull out? Hmm. The immediate danger has passed. Nordian should be safe, but Heldigan is still being held in the capital. Furthermore, yes. I'm hearing that the frontier towns and the central force are grappling with bandit raids. We can't afford to leave them be. Agreed. It is crucial that we help the locals, but we might convince them we aren't their enemy. In that case, we must ride for the north at once. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Hooray! Aren't we kind of just accidentally conquering the whole fucking world at this point, though? Yes, it 
at this point, we were just kind of conquering the entire continent out of self-defense. Maybe this is how, like, Genghis Khan saw it. Like, he was just like, oops, I accidentally invaded half of the, half the continent. Well. I mean, he was a semi-nomadic horse back, uh, oh, God. nomadic this just, person. This is just a, like, revisionist analogy trying to justify Genghis Khan's atrocity. <laughs> Wake up. I can't believe Nintendo would do this. Kaga did it first. <clears throat> you imbecile. You turned your back on this crisis to line your own pockets. And now we've lost hair and. That'd be, that'd be a good explanation for your behavior, Macbeth. For, um, my wife told me to do it. My humblest apologies, your majesty. Forgive me, I beg of you. I've already sent the order for Walt's, Walt's self-sword unit to move in at once. Nice self-sword unit. Hmm, we got a prick and prick. See order to move in. Guess we don't have most. Guess we don't have much of a choice. I, I don't know how to fucking do this. <laughs> um, well, you've tried. Now I have. To, now I have to make you finish choice, it. Though. Fair. Faye's gonna send us in. Then I have his men turn tail right when we need him. I'm staying put to see how this all plays out. Boy. Really? Okay, this is 100% the local, like, the fan translators just fucking around with these names. Uh, about that. Oh god, are they actually named this? For the most part, yes. I fucking hate it. I, I'd have to, I'd have to double check. In fact, you know what, sure, I'll check right now. Fire Emblem Heroes. Beowulf. Uh, I think that's his real name. I couldn't find him in Heroes, so he hasn't been put in there yet. So it, there's no, he hasn't been officially translated over yet, but for the most part, everyone's been correct with these translations. Yeah, I ain't up for this at all, Waltz. That Macbeth swine really rubs me the wrong way. I'm this close to just walking off the job. You're a free man, Beowulf. If the job isn't right for you, you're free to quit it, you smug asshole. That's the funny things about mercenaries, isn't it? Today's pals are tomorrow's foes. Amen to that. Hopefully we're not going to end up enemies someday. I wouldn't have a hope in hell against you, would I? Can't, ain't met no, anybody in the whole world who can take me. Especially not that giant army approaching from the west that's going to kill me in like two minutes. <laughs> How do you feel about armored units? There seems to be a lot of fucking Arden clones chilling out right over there. The Arden Armada. Ar Arden Armada. No. I disagree with the statements. Wait, that's illegal. Here we are. <clears throat> What's going on, sir? What's that din outside? Well, well, the bar is still here, aren't you? You ought to get out of here. We got bandits headed our way. Bandits? Isn't the aggression army doing something about them? The army? Ha, <laughs> that's rich boy. 
Germany's too busy with their little civil war to deal with our problems. Clearly that's more important than our safety. Actually, that's not at all. Remember, is the Lord of Anthony himself is pulling the bandit strings here. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. That's it. That guy's gotta go. <clears throat> I'll go sort of the bandits, okay? Now, how big a reward will be waiting here for me when I get back? Still full of hot air, are you? Just get out of here, wise guy. Nobody here has got the time to listen to you blowing your own horn. We're too busy getting ready to die. Ah, oh, come on. A little confidence would be nice. Yeah, whatever. Boy! Ewan! Running off behind my back now, are ya? Do the Ubu voice for her. Are you, are you, are you sure? You'll know why. Okay. Oi! Ewan! Running off behind my back now, are ya? Sylvia, damn! I, uh, er, I mean, you found me! Yeah, I found ya. You had your fun with me. So you're just dumping me without so much as a goodbye hoo <laughs> Hey, careful of that tongue of yours. We barely just met here a week ago. We've only been out for dinner for, what, two or three times? You're a dancer, I'm a bard. There's not much else to it. What, what, you called me adorable? That, that really, really meant a lot to me. Is this, you see why I wanted you to do this voice? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I just say things and don't really mean them. Oh, come on, enough of the tears. Things will probably get more than a bit rough out there, though. I oh think you'll be okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> As inhumanly attempting as it is, I will do it purely because I know for a damn fact that Tannis will exploit it to hell and back. Yeah. That's, that's too dangerous of a weapon. I feel like I could use it just fine, but just the fact that Tannis, knowing that this exists, will cause the, will cause an absolute destruction. And that's we know for a fact you ain't watching these. Listen, listen. My whole ran rambling around random shit earlier on, that was the barrier to keep Tannis from watching this part. Oh yeah, no, he'll, he'll completely mentally clock out the second you start talking about the fucking DS web browser. Yeah. No, he, he, he fast-forwarded. So this is the reward slash punishment for anybody who actually made it this far in. Alright, you ready? Yeah. I like it. What up? She was crying her eyes out just a few moments, seconds ago. It's like she never really grew up. Huh? Uh, nothing. Let's get going. So, we've gotten two u new units. Lewin, a bard. He's a much better mage than Azul could ever hope to be. Uses wind tomes, primarily. May notice he has star in Wait, wind. Wait, how is he already under Sigurd's authority? Because of the way he's joined us technically. Oh, I see. He is the Forseti Holy Blood. Nice. His skills are adept and critical. Those are not pursuit, but he's... Look at his speed. Yeah. That is Look at Elwind. Look at its weight. Yeah, he's going to trigger Adept enough. Yeah. So yes, Lewin is very strong. And we have Sylvia, the dancer. Ooh, girl. She has Adept, Miracle, because she fucking needs it, and yeah. Dance. Now, Dance works differently in this game. It refreshes adjacent allies, meaning everyone within... One time. Yes, like she'll use it here, and if someone was here, and here, and here, they would all also be refreshed. That is fucking nuts. 
So mm -hmm. how do you activate it? Do you have to use up her turn to activate it, I assume? As per usual. Okay. So let's see just how strong Lewin is. So this is how you would actually get around to getting... They're the only ones you can manage to solve it in time. Yeah. God damn it, you have 16 speed. Oh, well, it's okay. Hello. So what's something funny about this game? Uh, whenever dancers are in fights, when, you know, they shouldn't be, ever be in fights, ever. Yeah. Unique music plays. Is it like, oh fuck, what the, you fucked up now? Music it's just or... very, very dumb. The same music that plays whenever she dances is just a combat version of it. It's really funny. Dance the enemy to death? Basically. In fact, uh, next turn I'll show it off just because it's very funny. But one of our big tasks of this chapter is keeping these two fucking separate. Oh, yeah, because they'll marry. Sylvia is the horniest character in the game. Oh, of course the ooh, ooh like, fucking dancer girl would be the, uh, horny on main one. I let mean, me put... she literally did just say fucking that, so... Yeah, let me put it this way. Lewin will be... gets one of the best weapons in the game, and... Again, depending on who gets married of who, depends on who will get used weapons la later on. Lewin, whenever he inevitably leaves, will not be coming back. Meaning whoever he passes inventory to is important. And well, let's just say that you don't want him and Sylvia to get together, because it means you're not going to have that until Chapter 10. Oof. Yeah, uh, the people related to her, involved with her, do not show up for a long fucking time. And it's a level 1 character when they finally show up. A level 1 priest. Yeah, it's not a fun time. I forget, have they shown up? Yes, they have. So we have the mercenary team. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Once we get involved in over here, they're going to start rushing us. There's Waltz, who has the Paragon Band. No holy blood. Devil's user ex exp game and a steel blade. He has three stars of authority and adept. He's pretty fucking scary. And we also have Beowulf, who's a sword knight. Pursuit and a cost. Beowulf can be recruited. Oh, fucking Johnny Bravo ass looking motherfucker <laughs> over here can be recruited. Anyone can recruit him as long as they have 10,000 gold. Amazing. They just pay him off to join us. Hmm. Let's finish this turn, and I think we should call it after this. Yeah, that's fair. Again, this is definitely one of the more draining chapters, just in general. In general. <laughs> oh! So Sigurd and Leon want to talk, but Quan wants to talk to Finn, and Du wants to talk to Laquesis. So let's see what happens when Quan and Finn talk. I'm sure it couldn't be anything important. Yeah, clearly. Finn, well, these aggression our aggressions are proving to be far worthy of opponents than the thugs of Erdang. Who well, wouldn't you say? For a stronger enemy, is what could be more fitting than a stronger weapon? <laughs> Let's see how you fare for this. Hmm. Oh, am I voicing Finn? I, I Sorry, don't remember. I don't I think I, I didn't think I was, but I could be wrong. 
I'll go with it. Is that a brave lance? Are you sure you don't want to entrust me with such a rarity? Of course. You are House Leonster's most promising young knight. You are our future. I'd rather, and I'd sooner see you live this day. Harmony you properly is the best I can do to, to help for now, so yes. Take the spear. What an honor, my lord. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, that's another brave weapon we have. Now Finn just rock it up and rock it up in power. Oh, yeah. Like, which just, what the fuck, a random conversation. It's just... Yeah. Can I move this dumbasses down? Yes. Everybody in alphabetical order, or else I will report you to the office. You don't want to go to the principal again, now do you? Oh my god, they're here, the Pegasus Knights. Yeah, no, if, if you thought the situation was oh, could, couldn't get any worse. What the fuck is going on anymore? There's too many people showing up in this one goddamn chapter. Oh, that must be Equestry Castle. I'd say we're due for a break. Hopefully we'll be able to find a way to Prince Lewins. Or... Wait, he's a prince? Apparently. Apparently. I guess. Mayhaps we'll learn more about him later on. Oh, they just show up. I mean, he did have holy world. blood. So yes, before yes. we finish this... Let's see what happens whenever we try and have a dancer fight. Yeah. Oh, hit chance is too... She's just do all over again. <laughs> but she's actually useful. Oh, yeah, good But point. yes, it plays an entire separate song just for whenever a dancer gets in combat. Interesting. But... I'd say we're done for now. Until next round. <laughs>